I'm Roger Bush from the Pierce County Council, Council District Number 3, and today I'd like to bring you an update on what's taking place as we are working through our pilot project to remove unsightly, unlawful, and unsafe signs from the county right-of-ways. We're meeting with Bruce Wagner. He's the Road Operations Manager for Public Works and Utilities. And Bruce, you're in charge of the collection and the removal and the cataloging of the illegal commercial signs on our right-of-ways. Yes, sir. And we have in front of us today some software that you're pretty proud of. What's yes. it doing? It's our Citizen Request for Action system. And all of the requests that we get from our citizens, from any constituent that we have that uses Pierce County's roads, goes into the system. It allows us to enter the person calling, the site address, the nature of the concern, the action we take, our subsequent investigations, on pictures, plan sets that develop from that, and then close out of the information once we complete the work. And then we can query that information in the future to see patterns, where the potholes occur, where the most signs are being placed in this case, so we can plan better for the future to meet the need. Oh, that sounds uh, very efficient. And how is that working in terms of the actual removal of signs and the cataloging of it to make sure that we can keep our roadways uh, clean, uh, uncluttered, uh, make them safer, and have the illegal signs removed? Well, as uh, part of phase one, every sign that we remove, we photograph the sign or sign cluster, as the case may be, and then the information peculiar to that sign is entered into the system. So we know where it was picked up, on what day, uh, what the information on the sign is, and the follow-up action in phase two will be that we contact the sign owner, inform them of the pilot project, the implications of placing a sign on the right-of-way illegally, what may happen in phase three and four, and then we'll follow up with that data in phase three and four. So all that, that trail of information is being built. Well, it speak. sounds like a very logical system. It also sounds it's really citizen friendly in the very sense that so. it's, it's working and educating and, and assisting the citizens to be partners in cleaning up our roadways. It was developed to enhance our ability to deliver customer service, yes. And how effective is it working? Is it, is it easy to use? Is it uh, quick? Very easy to use. Um, I'm very proud of the fact that even I hire most of my employees because they're good road maintenance workers. And they're not necessarily hired because they're good on computers, but uh, to the person, our, our individual uh, employees can log on and use the system pretty much with very little training. It's very user-friendly. So you can actually look right at the signs that you saw on the roadside yes. and all the information about it? Um, yes, sir. That's great. Well, let's take a look at some of these signs as well. Well, Bruce, we're here now in front of a number of signs. What is the actual process for taking down? Once you've identified a location, you see some signs that are illegally placed, commercial signs, how do you get rid of them? Well, I have crew members, uh, maintenance technicians that are assigned to this pilot, and they're going through the region that's specified in the pilot. And they go out in a pickup truck and basically police an area. And as they encounter a sign, they determine the road right away. And because it's not practicable to perform a survey um, on every road out there as part of this pilot, they use the rule of thumb. Most county right of ways average about 60 feet wide. However, it's really better determined by features like um, utility poles. Uh, the obvious end of maintenance, a fence, a back slope of a ditch. So we're using that rule of thumb to make that determination. And once a sign is determined to be in the road right away, the folks take a picture of it, catalog on a piece of paper where they picked it up, put it in the truck, and bring it into this location. Okay, so it's pretty much a, a easy rule of thumb to think about. If it's if it's between the utility poles across the road to the other utility pole, rule of thumb, it's in the right of way. It works most of the time. And, and those signs are to be removed, and that's what we do. We take them out and we log them and catalog them. Yes, sir. All right, great. And what is the, um, what happens to them? Well, they're stored here, and uh, individuals who become aware that their sign was picked up are welcomed to come to this location. This is the Puyallup Road Shop. It's just north of Thunfield in South Hill, Puyallup, and retrieve their signs. We'll ask them to sign in and identify the signs that they're interested in, and they can come here and retrieve them. After 14 calendar days of them being removed, we will dispose of them of roadside litter if they're not picked up, though. Okay, and so really trying to sit there and work with them, and, and there's probably an education process in this as well. Yes, sir. So they're informed as to why it was picked up and, and how they can make sure their signs are placed legally in the future. Yes, sir. All right, great. Well, Bruce, as you're aware, the county council established a pilot project to eliminate the illegal, the unsightly, and the uh, unsafe signs in our right-of-ways. It was a pilot project in the area south of 512, east of the military bases, over to Meridian, as far south as 224. 
And uh, we budgeted $40,000 in this pilot to see how effectively we could manage uh, to improve the, the look and the safety of our roadsides. Uh, this is a multi-phase. Perhaps mm. you could tell us a little bit about the phases that we go through in this sure. process. Um, phase one is an action phase. That was the actual sign removal. Um, we just completed phase one just as close of business yesterday, um, August 2nd. The, uh, the budget for the phase was 12500 um, As of yesterday, we spent 12200 so we, <laughs> we did well. Um, we hit time and budget. Um, we re retrieved um, almost 1,600 signs, um, individual wow. signs, so quite a number within that pilot area, and we did get the entire sweep done. Um, so far, nine individuals have come to retrieve their signs of those 1,600. Wow. And uh, they have been uh, very cooperative, I take it, too. Yes, it's gone much better than we expected. We were just trying to anticipate um, how many signs to pick up. we would pick up. There's a lot of self-policing done, thanks to some good... Uh, preemptive public outreach and folks are being very cooperative they just want to do the right thing well I know a lot of developers and realtors were very cooperative before we began the removal officially they actually policed and removed a lot of them uh, themselves already. yes yeah. All right, and that has also improved the looks of our community already we yes, want sir. to be proud of our neighborhood and this helps a lot uh, there are safety features for your workmen as well in removing these. What's, what are some of the hazards involved? Well, obviously, we work next to traffic. Working next to track of traffic is a very dangerous thing, so we have to make sure we're wearing vests, high visibility clothing, we're putting out signs, we have lights to let people know we're out there, and my folks are focusing on the sign removal, not the oncoming traffic, so there's always that inherent danger when you're working near traffic. Um, often the signs that we pick up include arrows, they want to direct the person to their service, and arrows are also used in traffic control. So we want to make sure we're not confusing motorists right. out there. So that's another aspect that's an improvement by this pilot. Well, I know the traffic clutter of the signs makes our traffic signs, stop signs, yield signs, school signs, yield signs, hard to see. And so that's a part of the safety feature. But also utility workers are having problems getting up and down these poles as well. The staples, the nails, the different ways they're attached become safety hazards for them as well. Yeah, it makes a difficult job even more difficult and dangerous when there's lots of nails and things sticking out of those poles, yes. And the fact that they're illegal in the state by state statutes and also in county ordinances also uh, is an incentive to make sure that we beautify our community by removing these. Yes, sir. All right, great. And the next phase is that you enter these into the computer system, and then you contact the owners. Is that what works yes. next? Yes. Uh, the nice thing about signs is they contain contact information by virtue of their, their intent. So we will contact all of the sign owners, let them know, um, we removed your sign, here's why. Um, in the future, if you place more signs, this is what could happen, because there is a fine involved if, if it continues. That's phase two. Phase two runs parallel with phase one, the removal, and phase three, which is the second action effort. Phase three will begin next week, and that will be a sweep through the same area to find the signs that have been replaced in the areas where we removed them, and that will help us determine uh, where the problem areas are and uh, what the problem signs might be. Okay, so if you have some, some areas where there's more of a concentration of this activity, they can be focused on a little better. And if you have some people that are trying to game the system or bad players, uh, they can be addressed even more directly. And we can help the, uh, the prosecuting attorney's office identify those locations and zero in in the right place. And I know this has been a part of the partnership. The council addressed this issue by making it a civil infraction as well with a $250 fine per violation. So. If, uh, if there is a difficult situation out there, it can be addressed in that manner as well. Yes, sir. But we're looking forward to a cooperative partnership. That's so far, it seems to be working. Very well. All right, great. Thank you very much, Bruce. I appreciate the great work you and your crew are doing out here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I want to thank you for joining us today on Council Corner. If uh, we can be of further assistance in answering any questions related to the issue of signage, feel free to contact us. And if this or other matters are of concern to you, please feel free to call me at my office. Again, this is Roger Bush. Thank you for joining us.